What's up, everyone? Welcome back to some more LA Noir. Uh, this is Zachary, and what did we leave off doing? We investigated the body, we saw the purse, the matches, the list that wasn't a shopping list, surprisingly. Uh, we talked to this guy. I don't know, he has anything to say. Ray? The city keeps tossing us dead bodies. We're just running to catch up. That's all. Alright. Um, got this guy here. We can talk to him. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against beating it. like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Oh, he was kissing a dead body. Classic Carmine. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop. Don't hit him. All right. At least he was being honest with us about that. You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. Did you take any money? Wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick and her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. Discovery of victim's body. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. Uh, he looks a little suspicious this time. This time, so let's go ahead and do the notebook before we say he's lying. Got the the rings, the rings. Where did we get that rings from? Oh yeah. Now we got the victim's body shown sign of. There we go. Let's do. Time of death report by the coroner after midnight. Oh, we're gonna say he's lying and say the time of death. Does he? Let's let's say he's lying real fast. You're lying, Jameson. I think you lured this poor woman out here and killed her. You're crazy. What makes you say I killed her? Uh. Yeah, let's back out. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that? We go with doubt. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is gonna look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I can tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Clyde, can you get this sack of shit into a cell? I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. <laughs> All right, so now we got this guy to talk to. I don't know who exactly he is. I'm at a loss. Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have. Thank you. You can go now. All right, so, uh, don't think we're... I don't think there's anything else here to look at. Let's go talk to our partner and see if he has anything. What now? I say we check out Mance's place. Okay, that's what I thought. By the smell, this I was just making sure. Let's go ahead and make a call real fast. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, detective. Closest store would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thank you. All right, let's get going to the liquor store. We go to that mattress place as well. Look at that cop car. That's cool. Uh, which this is ours. Let's go. So we got the bar and we got the liquor store. Let's go to the bar first, since it's on the first one on the list. Bar visited by murder victim. 
Or at least that's she. At least that's what we think. We just found matches. We don't know for sure. It could be it could be anything. Okay, how the hell do we get out of here? Driving through trains. I'm sure it would have been easier if I just oh, come on. followed the path I got to come in here. It took to get in here. Here we go. We're out. Calm down. Read that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? I guess that's okay, though. Armies can't fight without food. You spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds were winning China. No! Oh, I thought I killed him. <laughs> Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country overthrew the king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? Uh, uh, no, thank you. So, anyways, uh, this is a long drive, and uh, yeah, I did. I've been doing commentaries all day. I did some uh, Battlefield 3 earlier, and I had a tough time on that. Actually, I kept failing this mission over and over. It's actually quite embarrassing. But uh, anyways, I am on this game now and hopefully get some commentaries done while on here. Maybe get on disc 3 pretty soon as well. To finish this game up as well. It would be nice. If I could finish both games up in the next two weeks that would be uh that'd be the best. But if not, that's okay. Cause I'm not even sure if I'm gonna do the MW3 campaign yet, because I'm gonna be busy playing that. I got tons of double EXP time Easy. as well, because I've been uh been collecting those do Mount Dew battle caps and stuff, so got tons of those, and you know everything. Everything is looking good so far. And this is a long ass drive. Holy shit! Should probably take a plane next time. If we survive this. It's gonna be a miracle. Yes, that it will be. be. All. Sorry, sir. What the hell is my car broken? Look at this. I'm pushing the right trigger and it's not going anywhere. We're gonna have to steal a car. I've never done this yet. Time to steal a car. And um, what do we have here? I like this red car. Out of the car, police. At least we're nice about it. We don't just grab them and throw them. This is the first time we've been in a new car, isn't that weird? Oh, I was trying to find a way to put the... Oh, wow, it's right there! We could have walked there! Huh! I, was, I, I just kept going down the road because I thought it was farther down the road. It was right there! We just stole this guy's car for no reason. Considering it's right here. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're probably needing a new car anyway, unless it automatic repairs. So here we are at the bar at 12.10 p.m. Drink, fellas! Phelps, Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Match. Evelyn Summers? What is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? A bunch of these guys. Ask around. What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. All right, last contact with the victim. Did you see Evelyn last night? No, I was at home, writing. Damn it, I don't want to say truth, but he's looking straight at us. I'm going to say truth. Can Damn it. Can corroborate that? 
Good choice of word.